<laughs> Over the next several decades, 25% of jobs are at a high risk of being automated away. This is a challenge that is going to fundamentally shake our society, and how we respond to it is crucial. I spent my summer working on just a small part of a solution to this big problem. My name is Noah Ford Renner. I'm studying chemical engineering here at WashU, and I grew up in Fairfield and Bridgeport, Connecticut. I have a passion for anything having to do with tackling the climate crisis. I'm specifically a big energy nerd, really into renewable energy, and that's what guided my initial foray into my civic project. I initially had partnered with a community organization where I was going to be working with a solar development company in Chicago and partnering with a nonprofit to get solar panels installed on schools and empowering teachers to teach about this amazing new technology to their students. This project was something I was extremely excited for. Unfortunately, this is what it looked like in mid-July after a lot of things had gone a little bit sideways and I wasn't sure what to do. I took some time reflecting on what kind of information I might have gotten through my work uh, as a solar developer intern, as well as on what I was passionate about and what, what kind of impact I wanted to have during the summer. I got inspiration for a new direction for my civic project, when one of my Uber drivers said that he really wanted to transition into getting a job in the solar industry. I was able to give him a little bit of advice based on what my colleagues had told me and what I had read online. And when after this, though, I, I was realizing that this is a question a lot of people might be asking as Uber and Lyft publicly say their path to profitability is automating all of their rides, right? So solar, something I'm extremely passionate about, stood out as maybe a nice little tiny piece uh, of a solution to this big problem we're facing. As you can see up here, solar installer is the number one fastest growing job in America. 63% increase year over year as of 2018. But from my experience all, all year trying to get involved with an internship in the solar industry, I knew it was totally nightmarish. There's a tons of different types of companies. It's extremely hard to tell what they're doing, what the roles are hiring for. Their jargon is totally overwhelming. And so I thought, okay, maybe I was able to give a little bit of help to this, this Uber driver, but is there any way I could share this with more people? This is the result of that. This is Surge. It's a website that I created. Uh, in order to improve the accessibility of the solar industry to anyone who wants to make that change, regardless of education level uh, or age or any other background. I'm now going to go through a couple different uh, functionalities that we built into this website, just to give you a little flavor for what we're doing. This is a screenshot of one part of the website where we kind of break down the different types of solar projects that might be done. I know what you're thinking, all right, this is a ton of jargon, why do I need to know the difference between utility and residential? But you really do when you're applying to get a job in the solar industry. You need to know exactly what the company you're applying for specializes in and how you'll fit in. This is another one where it might seem right now, tonight, okay, what, what are we talking about here? Commercial and industrial, municip munis municipalities, educational institutions. What this is doing is this is putting the information that it took me over a year to figure out well, who are the clients that these different companies serve and breaking it down so that anyone looking to get a job in the solar en energy industry can sound like a pro when they come into the interview. Speaking of interviews, it's really hard to find these jobs. They're scattered all over the internet and people don't have time, especially working full time, to go combing through. So we took the liberty of aggregating what we thought were all the best clean tech job boards and listservs so that people can find them easily. Lastly, solar installer, that job I talked about, only requires uh, specific certifications. It doesn't require a college degree, but that can be a little bit opaque. So one, one part of our website specifically dedicated to anyone who's looking to become an installer, understanding exactly what the certifications are they need and how they can uh, get them. Lastly, we understand that switching career paths is something that is extremely personal, and we probably didn't get it just right. So all throughout the website, we built in functionality for anyone who's using this to reach out to us personally, to get, give us feedback on what they might be confused about or what we could help them learn more about so we can always hone it. Throughout this experience, uh, I've learned that building and launching a website is incredibly difficult. I started in mid-July. I'm almost done looking at a December launch date. Uh, and having friends and partners are tremendously helpful. The second time around, after my initial partnership fell through, the people I've been collaborating on this are people I have close relationships with, both on campus and uh, personally. Anyway, so automation is a huge challenge we're facing, but what I want you all to come away with uh, tonight is that there are also a lot of amazing new technologies that come at, with the passage of time, and all of those create jobs, 
and we can all be a part of helping that transition be a little less bumpy so tomorrow can be brighter than today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.